the first omen is what Immaculate should have been. This is something that I've pointed out a couple times on my channel, but there's certain cinematic trends that you can start to see where like you'll have two different movies that have similar premises or like a, a specific like plot point that end up being in two different things. Like the most recent one I can think of was that both Ghostbusters, uh, the Frozen Empire and uh, Godzilla X Kong, the new empire uh, had a sequence where a frozen tidal wave showed up on a summer beach. And uh, the classic go-to example is Deep Impact and Armageddon. Both of those movies came out right around the same time and both were about a, uh, a meteor hitting the earth. And the first omen is about an American nun being taken to Rome in order to birth the Antichrist. And Immaculate was about an American nun being taken to Rome to birth the Christ. So those are very, very similar stories, is what I'm saying. And I, I feel like this movie had a lot more of showing how like the, the actual control of the women works. Because in Immaculate, a lot of it was just like, oh, we're being spooky and we're doing horrible things to people behind closed doors and like, you know, mutilating their bodies. Whereas here, there's a lot more just passive forms of social pressure and control to get people to conform and to ostracize certain people. Uh, it felt a lot more real in that respect, which is interesting because Immaculate tried to stick to everything ultimately being science-based and the first omen being a prequel to the omen is obviously set in a supernatural realm because this is a film franchise which literally has the antichrist um like the literal antichrist so you would expect the that w immaculate would feel more grounded but it doesn't the first omen feels more grounded even as it has actual supernatural elements now the Omen still has a similar issue that Immaculate did in that sometimes they're just going with gore for the sake of gore or moments where things are deliberately uh, shocking just to be like, oh, look how edgy we are. Like there is a sequence in which we witness a woman giving birth to some demonic entity and we see a demon hand coming out of her in the spot where a baby normally would. <laughs> I'm trying not to get demonetized. And that I felt was like excessive and just there to be like, look how edgy we are. So I wasn't as much of a fan of that. But overall, I found this one had a much stronger, um, more coherent plot. I, 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 I think this one worked a lot better than Immaculate did. And uh, as just a final note on this movie, there's a repeated visual thing that they do where the lead character whenever she's like lying down in bed we see her hair kind of just like splayed out in all angles like the strands of her hair are like rays of the sun moving away from her head and i don't know if there was like a deliberate intended visual reference there that i'm not getting it didn't look like a halo it looks uh like i said like the rays of the sun so there might have been something there, but I think, honestly, I think they just did it because it looks cool. Like, I know looking at them, like, your hair doesn't actually naturally splay out like that. They had to have arranged it like that to look like that. But, you know, that's fine. It's a movie. You you want to have cool things. I thought it was a, a, a neat uh, visual. Actually, let me see if I can find that. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Is pretty much every time she's lying down, her hair is like this and it's messy but it's also like deliberately arranged in these strands they they do that like probably three times in the movie and i think it's a cool look also she just has this nice you know messy makeup look i don't know it, it works for me anti-halo yeah maybe she has no she she has a body quinn she's just in bed she was she had a blanket on her <laughs> anyway, I uh, I liked this one. If you want to see a movie where a nun is forced to give birth to either the Christ or the Antichrist, uh, give this one a look. I think you'll enjoy it more than Immaculate.
Hey, thanks for watching. Your view means a lot. Don't forget to toss me a like and subscribe and ring the bell. And drop a comment below telling me what you thought of the video. I stream Mondays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific, so catch me live and join in on the convo. You can find all my socials in the description below, and thank you to all my patrons with a very special shout out to my Whale Shark tier patrons Ryan D and James Knight, and my Anemone Friend tier patron Piftle Cakes. Your support means the world. Catch you next time.